Tyrone Burton Ministries. Hey, welcome back to Tyrone Burton Ministries. This week we want to get into the biblical foundations of Christian worship. This is a book right here. It's the Biblical Foundations of Christian Worship, Volume 1, The Complete Library of Christian Worship. Christian worship is, 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 is of great significance. If a people, if you wake up daily and you have no time to worship, if you have no time to praise, if you have no set aside time to acknowledge the one who created you, there's an unbalance, there's, 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 there's something's off. So, so this here, let's look into this week, we're going to look into the biblical foundations of Christian worship. When we open up this book here, the contents here are scope of the complete library of Christian worship, how to use the complete library of Christian worship, introduction to volume one, the biblical foundations of Christian worship. So now in this book, we're going to learn, we're going to walk through the biblical foundations of Christian worship. Different topics we would deal with general expressions for worship, words for assemblies and festivals, terms of movement and gestures, words for expressions of praise and acclamation, terms of declaration and meditation, musical terms in worship. Now we know one great worshiper, which was King David. We want to look into the biblical text of King David. King David brought forth a lot of the Psalms. One of my favorites is Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Yeah, we're going to look into the life of King David, who was a true worshiper, had the heart of God. Look at Psalms 23. The Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. Somebody say, He leadeth me. Touch yourself and let yourself know that He leads you. This ain't only for David, this is for you as well. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. That's real right there, y'all. Sometimes you gotta sing the scriptures. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, I will fear no man, I will fear no pistol, I will fear no knife, I will fear nobody threatening my life. Because I walk with the Almighty God, I have no fear of him who can kill the body, but rather I fear him who can kill the body and the spirit. But yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell. Y'all tell yourself, I will dwell. Tap yourself and say, I will dwell. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah, man. Praise Jesus, y'all. Praise Jesus. Wherever you are, take a praise break. Worship the Lord who created you, formed you from the dust of the ground. Jesus Christ is Lord, y'all. Psalms is a psalm of David. David was, was, was a man after God's own heart. This week we're looking at David, King David, a true worshiper. This is the first psalm of David, Psalms 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. This thing is serious, y'all. This is if, if, if you want God, you gotta come after him, go after him day and night. If you want a girl, you go after her day and night. You call her at night, you call her when you wake up. If you want God, you gotta chase him. Like you want him. In his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so. But are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment. Nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. 
For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. King David was a unique individual. King David was, was a man who had a greater desire to seek and to know who formed him, who created him. There's someone bigger than you and I. There's someone out there who created, who formed the ear, who formed the eye. I know him as Jesus Christ, God Almighty. And David wanted to know him. He wanted to walk with him. He wanted to, when he sinned and he fell off with God, and he, he wanted to get right. Psalms, he's crying out. He's crying out. Lord, 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 forgive me. Forgive me. My enemies is at my throat. I mean, the book of Psalms is deep, y'all. The book of Psalms is deep. As you go through these scriptures, it reveals to us the heart of David. Psalm 70, to the chief musician, the psalm of David to bring to remembrance. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned backward and put to confusion that desire my hurt. Let them be turned back for a reward of their shame that say, aha, aha. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. And let such as love thy salvation say continually, let God be magnified. But I am poor and needy. Make haste unto me, O God. Thou art my help and my deliverer, O Lord, make no tarrying. Psalm 71, in thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline thine ear unto me and save me. Be thou my strong habitation whereunto I may continually resort. Thou hast given commandment to save me, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O my God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. For thou art my hope, thou art my hope, O Lord God. Thou art my trust from my youth. By thee have I been holding up from the womb. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's bowels. My praise shall be continually of thee. I am as a wonder unto many, but thou art my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise and with thy honor all the day. Cast me not off in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength faileth. For mine enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together, saying, God hath forsaken him. Persecute and take him, for there is none to deliver him. Oh God, be not far from me. Oh my God, make haste for my help. Let them be confounded and consumed that are adversaries to my soul. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor that seek my hurt. But I will hope continually and will yet praise thee more and more. My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness and thy salvation all the day, for I know not the numbers thereof. I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of thy righteousness, even of thine own name. O God, thou hast taught me from my youth, and hitherto have I declared thy wondrous works. Now also when I am old and gray-headed, O God, forsake me not, until I have shown thy strength unto this generation, and thy power to everyone that is to come. That's real right there. I, 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 I like that. Now also when I am old and gray-headed, O God, forsake me not until I have shown thy strength unto this generation and thy power to everyone that is to come. Thy righteousness also, O God, is very high, who has done great things. O God, who is like unto thee? Thou which has shown me great and sore troubles shalt quicken me again and shalt bring me up again from the depths of the earth. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. I will also praise thee with the psaltery, even thy truth, O oh my God. Unto thee will I sing with the harp, O thou holy one of Israel. My lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing unto thee in my soul which thou hast redeemed. Thank you, Lord, for redeeming my soul. 
My tongue also shall talk of thy righteousness all the day long. Some of you might be wondering why TK on this YouTube talking about these biblical scriptures. Because my tongue also shall talk of thy righteousness all the day long. For they are confounded, for they are brought unto shame that seek my hurt. See, I love talking about God because he, he's the best that I ever met. He's the best that I know. He's the best that I can offer anybody. He's the best that I can talk about. We like to talk about Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson. And guess what? Tyrone Dorzell Burton liked to talk about Jesus Christ of Nazareth who walked on water. Mike Jordan dunked on people with his tongue out. Ah! Michael Jackson did the moonwalk backwards. Mike, Mike Tyson knocked people out in one, two minutes. Jesus Christ of Nazareth raised them. He, he raised up Lazarus. Huh? He opened the eyes of the blind. He opened the ears of the deaf. Walked on water, turned water into wine. Come on, man. Who you rather talk about, man? I'm excited about Jesus. Jesus is the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He's Alpha and Omega. Beginning in the end. First and the last. If you want to talk about anybody, talk about somebody who's worthy to be talked about. Talk about somebody who did something for you. Michael Jordan's my boy. Michael Jackson's my boy. But they didn't do nothing for me that, that's, that's significant for my salvation, for me to live on when I leave this life. But Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he laid down his life. Gave up his life for you, for me, for your mama, for your daddy, for your grandmama. Jesus Christ is worthy of all the praise. He's worthy to be talked about. So TB's going to talk about him. I'm going to talk about him. As long as I got breath in me, I'm going to talk about Jesus, the bread of life. The devil come not but to steal, kill, and destroy. But I come that you might have life and you have it more abundantly. In Jesus is all that we need. In Jesus is the abundance of life. In Jesus is double, double, double. In Jesus is, is the manifold blessing, the X blessing. Shout out to my boy Bishop Clarence C. McClendon, Frederick Casey, Price, Bishop Ernest Johnson, Bishop Noel Jones, Benny Hinn, my dad DP, the preacher. Man, the X blessing. God got so much for us, people of God. God got so much for us. If we press into him like we never have before, we're going to see him provide for us miraculously in this month. I'm doing this video right now. This is, this is now my birthday. 1233. Jesus Christ was 33 years old when he left the earth. It's 1233. I just became 39 years old. Dr. King's age. I got a lot of work to do. When I think about that, I think about Dr. King died at 39. He got a lot accomplished. I got a lot to accomplish. I got movie ideas I got to finish that I want to finish. I got TV show ideas that I want to finish. I got a lot of work to do for I'm an actor. And I love bringing forth the word of God to be a blessing to you. If any of you are watching this word and it's encouraging you and it's ministering to you and it's feeding you weekly, daily, whenever you watch it, I want to encourage you to look down at the bottom of the screen. Send a love offering, a money order, a check payable to your boy Tyrone Burton, Mr. Tyrone Burton at 355 Parkman Ave, box number 8, LA, California, 90026. Send it off and just understand that, it, 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 that God will, will, will return what you give and sow into the ministry. He will return it unto you tenfold, hundredfold. He will return it unto you according to the way that he will, his word says he will return it to you. But if this word been a blessing to you, if it encouraged you, if you've been going through, if you've been feeling depressed down, if you needed a word of God and you popped on YouTube and you seen your boy, ain't that actor TK, ain't that Tyrone Burton? And this word ministered to you and it lifts you up out of your low place. I want to encourage you to keep, keep this ministry going forward. Also, I'm putting my account number that you can sow. You can walk to the nearest Wells Fargo and you can drop any amount of love offering into my account. Just drop, go to a Wells Fargo near you and give them my account number right here on the screen. Give them my account number, deposit any love offering, any amount you want to help keep this ministry going forward. Help me bringing this word to you, to your moms, to your dads, to your brothers, anybody. People out there want to, been wanting to commit suicide. They need God. They need a word. They need to hear the life. There's so much death surrounding people. So I just want to encourage you, man. You, it's good to encourage the men of God. It's good to support the work of God. 
Hey, praise the Lord, everybody, man. This is Tyrone Dorzell Burton, man. I just want to encourage you out there. If you're feeling discouraged, if you're feeling hopeless, I just want to encourage you that there is someone named Jesus Christ of Nazareth who laid down his life and died for you, that you would be saved. Jesus Christ laid down his life for you so that you would be saved. But what do you have to do in order to receive salvation? The Bible teaches us in Romans chapter 10 verse 9 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. That's Bible right there. That is, that is scripture that teaches you what to do to be saved. And I want you to know that, that I'm coming on here to, to be a blessing to the people. To give the people the word of God. The word of God needs to be preached, will be preached, will not be stopped. And I desire to win souls. The Bible says he who wins souls is wise. A lot of people, we got friends, family members that don't, haven't accepted Jesus, that choose not, chose not to believe him, who don't believe him. We got people in the world that's atheists, that, that they need to hear word of God from you, from me. So therefore, I'm coming forth to you through YouTube to bring the word of God to you. Because I have a desire to help you. Because I have a desire to lead you to Christ who will save you, who could save you. But he don't force you to do nothing. Whosoever will, let him come. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says in the Bible, it says, it says here, it says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Verse 10 says, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So that's teaching you and telling you what you need to do to be saved. God didn't make it hard for you to get saved. All you got to do is speak it out your mouth and believe it in your heart. Confess with your mouth. Jesus is the Lord and believe what God the Father did for you. He raised his son Jesus up from the dead. We don't have a dead Jesus. We don't have a dead Christ. For Jesus Christ is alive, seated at the right hand of the Father. This is your boy Tyrone Burton, man, coming to you with the word of God, coming to you with the ministry, coming to you with something that can help you, that can change your life. Only if you receive it, only if you give God's word a chance. This is his holy Bible. This is the instructions that he give us, that he left us. He didn't just, men didn't just wake up and make this holy Bible. God moved upon holy men of old. All scriptures are given by inspiration of God. Walk with Jesus Christ. How do you walk with him? Learn his word. Open it up. Get yourself a holy Bible. Learn it. Read it. Get it in your mind. Get it in your heart. Do what it says to do so you'll be saved. If this ministry has been a blessing to you, simply go to your nearest Wells Fargo Bank and deposit a love offering of any amount into Tyrone Burton's account. Give them the account number 101-024-723-8213 and get your receipt. God bless you. It is the blood that gives me strength and from day to day it will never lose its power it reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to the lowest valley. It is the blood that gives me strength. And from day to day, it will never lose its power.